Okay, it doesn't look much like springtime. But it is. It's a Southern Alberta springtime. No, the calendar doesn't mean much around here. I mean, winter can happen pretty much any time of year. But the ferruginous hawks are back. And the view from the Big Bend on Blue Trail is just as spectacular covered in snow as it is covered in green. Though when things are covered in green, the roads are a little better. But there's always so much to see in southern Alberta, no matter what the weather. Like these geese and ducks west of Glenwood. Or this bald eagle watching a rancher at work south of Hill Spring. Yeah, in southern Alberta, the birds and animals stop to take in the view, too. Like these horses down by Mountain View. They seem pretty interested in the mule deer walking by. There are mule deer everywhere, like there always are. These ones were over in Waterton Park. And I and the muleys had the park pretty much to ourselves. Cameron Falls right in the town site looked really pretty covered in ice. And given how springtime is starting out, that drapery of icicles is likely to last mm, quite a while. With the fires that have swept through here in the last couple of years, Waterton is never really crowded, even in the high season. I like the starkness of it though, with the burned trees and the snow, and the frozen waterfalls on the rock faces. And especially at this time of year, it's a great place to go for social distancing. In fact, all of southern Alberta is a great place to go anytime for social distancing. You're supposed to stay six feet away from other folks. Out here, it might as well be 60 kilometers. Parked next to the Waterton River, watching the tundra swans and trumpeter swans, and the pintails and the widgeons that have just come back from the deep south, I was all by myself. Which is how I've explored southern Alberta pretty much all my life. Social distancing is easy for me, but I realize how tough it can be for most people. It's essential, though, to help stop the virus. But southern Alberta has a lot of wide-open, unpeopled places where social distancing is not a problem. So if you don't mind flying solo, just take off and explore. <laughs> 